Hi there, Victor with Prudential California here, and I invite you to come check out my revamped website at www.victor4homes.com. Well, the real reason why I'm making this video today is I'd like to inform you about some changes that are being made to the Making Home Affordable program. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Making Home Affordable program is actually a federal program rolled out to help homeowners in distress and banks stem the losses of properties that are currently underwater where people are either walking away because their mortgage has jumped up if they had an option arm or you know some type of financial hardship so it's helping both homeowners and the banks deal with the current real estate market however starting April 5th write that down April 5th there's going to be some significant changes to the making home affordable program that you and your family should be aware of well number one Banks are going to start getting $1,000 for every loan modification that they approve. So right now there's some incentive other than just letting the homeowner stay in the property and keeping it from becoming vacant and what the banks consider a non-performing asset. So make this straight, banks will get $1,000 from the federal government if they approve a modification that allows the homeowner to make payments and keep their property. The second big change that's coming April 5th, well, it pays to short sale. Most people right now who are rejected for short sales either because A, they make too much money, or B, they don't make enough money, they're finding themselves, uh, I don't know how else to say it, but between a rock and a hard place. They have a decision to make. They either have to keep making the mortgage payment, which obviously they can't do it, or let the property go to foreclosure. Well, there's a third option there, short sale. Now, I know there's been a lot of talk about how short sales take forever, and yes, they do take a long time. We've also talked about how short sales are not guaranteed to happen, and that's also true. But here's the big change to the Making Home Affordable program that I wanna let you know about. Banks are gonna be getting $1,000 if they approve a short sale from the federal government. Not only will they get $1,000, to approve a short sale, but they will get up to $3,000 from the federal government to help pay off the second mortgage if there is one. But not only that, this is how it affects you, the homeowner. Homeowners will get $1,500 in relocation money. Think about that, $1,500 to move. So if I'm a homeowner and I'm in distress, either I lost my job or they cut my wages or you know something traumatic happened where I can no longer afford my mortgage. I have faced that choice, right? Foreclosure, short sale. Well, foreclosure, I don't get anything out of it except for bad credit and a bunch of people calling me, looking for money, all kinds of mail in my mailbox that I don't wanna open, or do I do a short sale where my credit's gonna be good in about 18 to 24 months, I won't owe anybody anything, the phone calls stop, and not only that, they're gonna give me $1,500 to move out of the property now? I think that's a really easy choice. So remember, the big changes to the Making Home Affordable program, $1,000 to banks to do a loan modification or approve a short sale. But the biggest one that's gonna affect you and maybe somebody you know, $1,500 to relocate. So if a homeowner decides, listen, I can't keep the property anymore, I know that, what's the best option for me? Obviously, it's a short sale now. Save your credit, save the stress and the, the pain that your family goes through, and also get $1,500 to start somewhere else. That's a program right now that's gonna be starting April 5th, remember that, April 5th, the Making Home Affordable program, $1,000 to banks for loan modification approvals, short sale approvals, and $1,500 to the homeowner to relocate the property. Anyways, if you'd like any more information regarding the Making Home Affordable program or have any questions regarding anything that I talk about in my videos, please look me up, www.victor4homes.com. See you next time. Take care.